What is up you guys, it's Violet Taylor here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. Yeah, um, I missed the item shop last night. Um, I was absolutely knackered, I was absolutely knackered, I needed to get some sleep. But then I realised it was like 4 in the morning. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video nevertheless. As you guys can see, we have the brand new Memento Mori bundle. Now, I did know this was coming, but I just didn't know what it was going to drop. So, jumping straight in. We have the Graveheart skin, Chilling Protector of the Lost. Now, as you guys do, oh, no, as you guys can see, she's got two styles. So we've got the default here, and then we have the Ghost Light version, which is very, very cool. Love the tattoos on her as well. Very badass. We then move on to the Bat Bling, which is the Wings of Woe. Worry not. Again, really, really cool. Revealing a bit more of the back tattoo there. Very, very cool. These do have styles as well, so we've got the default, and then we have the ghost light version, which is very, very cool. They've got like a bit of an iridescent shine on them as well. Moving us onto the harvesting tool, we have the plumed talon. Claw your way to victory. Again, we've got the default, and then we have the ghost light version. Love the little um, feather effect there as well. Moving us onto the last but not least, we have the silver dirge. Is it dirt silver dirge? I think. Anyway, looking very, very cool on various different weapon models now. It's got like a bit of a sequin pattern to it. Not bad, not bad. 1,500 V-Bucks, definitely a steal. Definitely one to grab for sure. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the Fiji store. We have the return of the Tender Defender. Protect your nuggets. Part of the Foul Play set, first introduced in the OG Season 6. As you guys can see, everybody knows about this skin. Moving us on to the back bling, which is the hatchback come out of your shell i always every time i always see this i think it should have been an animated bat bling where like the bat bling actually cracks um you know if you take damage and stuff moving us on to the return of the flappy flyer which is the glider keep it flappy again very very cool we then move on to the harvesting tool which is the scrambler mix it up looking very very cool as well Moving us on to the return of the Hugo skin. Hugo, style, stealth, unpredictability. Part of the espionage set, obviously. First introduced in Chapter 2, Season 2, baby! You guys know that was my favourite season. Anyway, we have the default skin. We have an option on an alternate to have his glasses on. So you guys can have his glasses off, which is the default. And then you can have his glasses on. Again, very subtle change, but I know people appreciate it. Moving us on to the Bat Bling, we have the Emissary Bag. Your mission awaits. Again, very, very cool. Also, if you guys notice the logo, even though he was part of the Secret Agents and stuff like that, his logo isn't Ghost or Shadow. It hasn't even got the Chaos Agent on it either, so I wonder what faction he's from. I hope we find out soon. Anyway, moving us on to the built-in emote, which is... Butterfly Knife. This will end in tears. Cheese! built in of course moving us onto the butterfly knives themselves let them fly really really cool absolutely badass 100% recommend grabbing these guys can obviously be used on multiple skins but yeah very very cool moving us onto the second half of a featured store here as you guys can see we have the return of i'm probably gonna butcher this is it the lock bundle or the loach bundle i think it's the lock bundle Anyway, very, very cool. I have covered this in its own Is It What Isn't That Worth It Bob video. But yeah, very, very cool if you're into like the Norse Celtic um, skins. Moving us on to the Daily Store, as you guys can see, we have the return of the Hayseed skin. Roll up your sleeves and battle the field. Really, really cool. Nice little um, farmer alternate of Jonesy. Very, very cool. First introduced part of the Fatal Fielders set in the OG Season 8. We have the return of the Gaia skin now. Gaia, as far as she's concerned, she's the rightful leader of the clan. So, we have various styles for this. So we've got the default here. We then have an alternate where we can turn her blue. Very, very inspired by Avatar, I believe. Well, I think it is anyway. Moving us away from this, you can also have her with the mask on. Sorry, mask off. And then with the mask on, again, Lending into the bone uh, aesthetic. Very, very cool. I'll show you what it's like with the mask on with the default now. I love her eyes. Anyway, moving us on to the bat bling, we have the tusk and tooth. 
and Never Given. Again, very, very cool. And then moving us on to the Harvested Tool, we have the Crossbite Tooth Axes. Surprisingly chewy. Moving us on to the return of the daily items now, we have the return of some emotes and the lobby music. So we have the Infectious Emote. Let it take over. First introduction of OG Season X. We then move on to the return of the Rock, Paper, Scissors. Now, can we beat the item shop? Ready? Rock, Paper, Scissors. Okay, I had scissors, so I'll win that one. Best two out of three. Rock, paper, scissors. Ooh, I had paper. Okay, you beat me. One more, one more. We always go to three. I don't know why they always say two out of three. Anyway, last but not least, come on. Rock, paper, scissors. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I picked rock. I picked rock. Anyway, best out of three. First introduced to OG season three. Moving us on to the return of the cube theme. Press play and be square. I think a lot of people underrate this season. This was a very cool season. I mean, we got, literally, we got carnage out of it. Moving us on to the return of the focused traversal emote. Stay focused in the heat of battle. Now, she isn't walking now, but it is traversal, like she will walk and text at the same time. Very, very cool. Moving us on to the bottom half now, as you guys remember, the last item shop that I did do, we had the return of the Icon series, Chloe Kim. We have the return of the holiday favourites. So really, really cool items in here. Again, if you guys didn't get any of the winter skins, now is your time to grab some of them. Not all, but grab some of them. I think the majority of them are in here. Last but not least, we have the special offers and bundles. But yeah, I apologise for missing last night's item shop. I won't be missing tonight, so let me tell you that much. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you did enjoy the video, uh, let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like the video. Also, let me know, are you happy that the Memento Mori bundle has dropped? What do you guys think of the bundle? And are you going to grab the bundle? Now, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you, are new to the if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to channel if you're new and join Team Let's Catch a Vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get no follow soon as I upload. But, more importantly, don't forget to stay vibe me and I'll catch you all in 2023. Peace!